My name is Jerry Harrison. I'm the pastor's wife here at the Tabernacle of Praise Church in Westville, Oklahoma. And I just would like to share some encouraging words with you today. Um, it's a trying time, uh, not just because of the virus, but just life itself. Um, but we need to be reminded every day of things that God has done for us. And I just want to share a quick testimony about my family. And I hope that they don't mind that I'm sharing this. I don't think that they will because, um, you know, that's just who they are. And that's what I do is talk about my family. And so if I don't do it now, I will back out. This is probably about the 50th time I've tried to post this video. Um, I just don't like to be in front of the camera. I don't like to take pictures or videos because... I will wander off and I will look in different directions and forget that I'm on the camera and just be talking and not even looking at you. And uh, But the Bible talks about praying without ceasing. It talks about that we can pray and ask for anything in Jesus' name and we should believe that we should have it. And uh, I know that that seems uh, kind of wild sometimes, but... Today, um, I just want to share the testimony about my family. Um, probably five, six years ago, uh, my brother, he was living a life that, uh, well, it was a life of addiction. And we wasn't able to uh, spend quality time with him. Uh, that's not something he wanted to do. And at that time, it's not really something that, we wanted to do. But today, my brother and I and my mom had lunch together for Mother's Day. And uh, as we were sitting there at the table uh, visiting with my mom and giving her a hard time, my brother likes to give her a hard time. And um, so we were just laughing and joking. And I was reminded of just what prayer can do. And that it is a miracle that we were sitting at the table together laughing and enjoying each other and just enjoying life. Um, my brother uh, was addicted. Um, he was addicted to drugs, but we've all been addicted to things. Um, maybe we've struggled with depression, anxiety, um, just there's a number of things that life just throws things at us that um, causes us maybe to fall off of the wagon a little bit. And uh, But I'm so thankful that God brought my brother out of that. And through that, you know, we prayed all the time and we prayed that he would get out of the mess that he was in. And, you know, God reminded me that we don't always pray the right way. Um, I was praying for God to take him out of that. And uh, then we all started praying just God's will, whatever that was, to uh, get him free from that lifestyle. And uh, so he did have to spend some time uh, in jail and prison. But praise God that we were able to sit at a table today and have lunch and be able to laugh. And if you don't know what that's like, then I hope that you experience a miracle sometime in your life. Not that it was an easy thing to go through, but just sitting there knowing that this would not have happened without God. Um, it just blessed me. I, I wasn't in that great of a mood this morning, but just God reminding me that he done this, that if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be sitting at that table laughing and joking. And so he reminded me that it's a miracle. And sometimes we, we want to see arms grow and we want to see uh, the blinded eyes see, but we have miracles that happen in our life. And uh, I don't ever want to not thank God for those miracles. Um, it's not uh, exciting to go through. It's not a happy time when you have to go through things.
But to see God bring a person you love out of a situation and look back today and realize, thank you, Jesus, for doing that. Um, it's just amazing. And so this weekend is Mother's Day. And so I want to encourage any mother that has a child that isn't serving God right now, keep praying. Keep keep bringing him before, or her before the Lord. And don't ever give up. Don't ever lose hope. Because a, a preacher friend of ours one time, he told us that he prayed for his daughter for like 15 or 18 years before he seen her get saved. But he did see her get saved. And so God doesn't always work in our time. And he doesn't always do it the way we want him to do it. But he always does it the right way. And so I am so thankful for just that miracle to be able to be with my brother again and be able to be a family and be able to laugh and talk and that that seems like a lifetime ago that we went through that and so if you're a wife don't give up on that husband that maybe isn't serving God right now that isn't um, living the life you want him to Keep praying for him. Keep praying for your children, for your lost loved ones, for the community, that we would be able to see Westville be a drug-free town, that we could see Adair County drug-free, that we could see depression break off of people, anxiety, um, worry, fear. You know, right now is a time that people are have lost their jobs. Uh, I've been on uh, shared work, which is part of unemployment. This makes our fourth week without getting paid. And so I do know a little bit about the financial burden of what's going on in the world right now. But I know that God has it all under control. And that as long as I serve him and I give everything to him, that he'll take care of me and that he will keep me. And so look around at your life today. Just don't look at the things that are wrong, but look at all the things that are right. Look for those miracles in your life. Sometimes we don't realize they're miracles, but if it had not been for God, where would we be? I remember a time when I needed him. I needed him to come in and save me, to change me, to make me into a different person than I was. And so I don't ever want to not thank him for what he has done in my life, my family's life, the things I've seen him do in the people that we pastor, um, the people in the community. Look and see what has God done for you lately. Sometimes we want to go back to what he done for us years ago, but we serve a God that does things daily for us. The scripture says he loadeth us up daily with benefits. And so what has he done for you today? Share that with someone. Encourage someone today with just what God has done in your life or your family's life. Somebody you know. And so I'm just so thankful today just for that lunch date that we had today that just made my day, that just reminded me of how blessed I am, that how much God has done in my life. And as long as I keep serving him, he will continue to do in my life. And so if you don't have a home church, come and visit us at the Tabernacle of Praise. Uh, we are located in Westville, Oklahoma, right across from the Sonic. We will be having um, drive-in church this weekend. It starts at 11 o'clock. You pull in the driveway and there will be someone there to park you no one gets out of their vehicle but you can hear the word of God and some wonderful music and uh, hopefully uh, soon we will be back in church service and I want to invite you to that too but if you're scared to come to church and you don't really want to have to talk to anybody you would just like to come and just hear the word then this is the perfect time just drive up, roll down your windows, and listen to the word. No one will bother you. No one will pressure you. 
you can just come and listen and worship God and then be able to listen to the word of God preached and drive off. And that's all that you have to do. You know, God wants you here. He wants you to be able to hear the word and he wants to do something amazing in your life. And if we will allow him to, then we can look and see blessings all around him. And so I encourage you to just come out this weekend. And I encourage you to share something encouraging with someone. Whether it's a video, whether it's a phone call, whether it's a text. You know, just encourage someone today. Everyone needs encouragement. And so um, that's about all I have to say. And I'm sorry if uh, this video is a little shaky. I'm holding my phone and I'm sitting in my car. And uh, I could say like take number 50 because I've messed up so many times. And so I'm just going to post this and I hope that uh, you guys enjoy it. And uh, come on out Sunday if you don't have a home church. And uh, we would just love to see you and have a blessed day. Thank you.